today we're going to be building a bumper for my 1988 Toyota pickup. I picked up a cool Weld It Yourself kit from a company called NWTI. If you don't know what a Weld It Yourself kit is, it's just a bumper that comes in a bunch of pieces that you weld together and it makes a bumper. So we're going to head over to my friend's house right now. They're all welders and they're going to help me get this project done. So here are all the parts that come with the kit. You have the body pieces and then the main winch plate area there with these huge tow hooks. Uh, this front piece right here actually goes on the front of the truck because the stock mounting area is super weak and this area can actually break. So we're gonna drill out all the factory hardware points, weld this on, and it came with some gussets to actually gusset to the frame of the truck as well. We've got to get this old bumper off, disconnect the turn signals, and get the frame ready for welding. On the new frame brace, we need to weld nuts on the back of it so that it has threads. We're effectively removing the weak factory bumper mount and installing a 3 8 thick plate with gussets that can support this new bumper and anything we throw at it. So these kits come together with pieces that kind of go together like Legos. You just set them up, tack them together, and then we will finish weld this winch assembly once everything looks square and good to go. The main winch plate is together and welded and now we have these little shackle mounts that are going to sit right here. There's a little uh, front section here that's going to go over those mounts like this and then there's a ramp that goes under it and welds right here. Once this whole assembly is welded together we can mount it on the truck and start fitting the body of the bumper. That thing's starting to look like a bumper. Now we're fitting up the pieces that make the body of the bumper. These kits come with instructions so you know what piece goes where and they're also labeled. I'm holding this top plate in place and my buddy Chris is lining up the front plate while Ryan tacks these into place. We're just tacking everything right now since we still want to be able to move things around if we need to and in case we mess up we don't want to have to grind a weld, it's a lot easier to just grind or break a tack. After everything looks right, we'll finish weld. So it's all coming together. It finally looks like a bumper at this point. There's a bunch of little pieces that build the body. They just kind of fit together and then you tack weld them into place and you can 
kind of custom fit it for your own application. There's little gaps that we'll probably have to fill, but for the most part, it fits the body lines really well and looks really good. We're stitch welding in one to two inch sections, constantly moving around the bumper as not to warp it. Once the whole thing is welded, we'll take a flap disc to the welds and smooth everything out. Then we have to fit the stinger and move on to paint. We got the bumper on, fully installed, totally welded, and ground down all of those welds with a flap disc. Uh, actually, they did all the work over here. So now we're trying to get this tube cut at the right angle for the stinger. It's kind of hard to do the math because we don't really know what we're doing finding that angle, but we want to <laughs> lean forward a little bit this way. And then it has these little side braces too. And these did not come notched or anything. So we're gonna have to cut these to length and notch them to properly brace up that stinger. So we're gonna work on that right now. The grinder wasn't plugged in. We have this guy that almost cut his entire hand off with the grinder using the grinder again. Hopefully we don't have any issues here. We just held this up to the side of the table, angled it where we wanted it to be, and kind of just drew a line. So I guess we'll see if this works. Good. I'm honestly shocked uh, with how good that came out just from drawing it on with the Sharpie. Yeah. That hoop actually fit really well. They're welding it on right now. The last part is going to be installing these braces and we're gonna have to notch the front area and then angle the rear area of this tube to make it fit properly. So we gotta decide what angle we want it to sit against the actual stinger and then how like inboard we wanna run it. So once these are done, we'll be finished with the bumper. It was a pretty easy bumper to build actually. Uh, you, you know, having friends that are welders does help a lot. Uh, but the whole process took about, I don't know, around six hours or so. So we're doing the same thing we did on the other pipe, just made a Sharpie line. Uh, this one we're really not sure of at all, so hopefully that thing ends up at the right angle. We're going for 30 degrees. It actually fits. Wow. All right, so now we're working on notching the tube. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, we're kind of just throwing around measurements here and cutting and hoping that it fits and so far it's been working pretty well. Ricky wants it. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. So we have to notch the tube more? This, yeah. Yeah, it's not notched enough. So the bumper's done. We were able to get those angles cut out and the notches done. This one is a little bit lower than the other one. We don't hide mistakes on this channel, but it's the best we can really do when we're getting angles with Sharpies and you got three Neanderthals in the garage just kind of banging their heads trying to figure out how to get the right notch and how to get the right angle. So yeah, the bumper's on there. Gonna paint it up tomorrow. Huge thank you to my friends Ryan and Chris for helping me out here. Uh, it really helps having friends that are welders. It basically can build anything for this truck. They helped me with the sliders as well. 
Uh, the only thing that they did not help in terms of armor is this rear bumper. As you can see, this thing is kind of a piece of crap and not something that would ever come out of this garage. So yeah, things looking really cool and we're gonna take this thing off and paint it tomorrow. I got the bumper all painted up and when I was primering this thing, the primer was old and it was kind of coming out in like a powdered textury format. So I was gonna paint it with textured paint anyway, which I did as you can see here. And I thought that the textured paint would cover some of that, some of that primer mess up, but there's a couple areas where it just didn't. And that's okay, we'll just touch it up in the future. But the bumper looks really good. Super happy with it. It made the front of this truck look completely, completely different. It looks a lot more aggressive and, and tough on the front end. So really happy with how that turned out. Looks absolutely amazing on there. All right guys, that wraps up today's video. Thank you for following along throughout this project. This was a super fun bumper to build and thank you to my friends that helped me along the way. If you're into build videos, how-to videos, or off-roading videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel and you'll see a lot more of this content coming your way and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.